Hey there, horse lovers. I'm Mari, and this is Allie. And together as Mind Body Vault, we teach and inspire equestrians to be the best version of themselves for their horses. We're gonna get right into it today because we know you're all living your best life. So that's actually the inspiration behind today's video. So you may already know that one of the reasons and benefits for getting your horse brushed and curry combed is that it starts to stimulate that blood flow and it helps to get them a little bit warmed up for when you ride. Today we've paired some of those items in the attack box with exercises that will also prime yourself for your ride. All right, let's get this party started. All right, so our first exercise is gonna come right when you get to the barn and you grab the halter. So go ahead and have that over your shoulder and we're gonna get right into squats. So you're gonna think grab that halter, lift it up overhead, put it down. So it might seem silly, but we just want you to start getting into the habit of knowing that each item is paired with a movement. So from now on, when you see that halter, you think halter, warm up, get those glutes it's working, get the legs active. You can do eight to 10 reps or until you're feeling good. We'll do one more here. All right, next up is our lead rope. So Ali's gonna hand me a lead rope over here. She's gonna grab one as well. We're gonna place it in between our hands, stretch out one foot in front of you, flexing that foot to get a little extra hamstring stretch. So yeah, exactly, as you hear Ali here, use that breath to move through. We're going to just Open up that airflow here, getting some oxygen to those hamstrings. Guys, uh, that is the, yeah, neck stretch and flow. You know you really use those hamstrings it. when you ride. Exactly. So we want to give it some love and attention right here. All right, guys, next up is brushing the horse. So this oftentimes takes the most, the longest time to do. So we've created a, an association with the hips because it is the number one tight area for most riders. So the exercises that we've thought of is called a laser beam. So think of a laser beam shooting out of your knee. We wanna isolate that knee. And you're just gonna internal and external rotate through the hip with that knee. You can also modify and do a pigeon, what we call a pigeon if you see Ali here, is doing that pigeon crossing that leg over and just bending at the hip. All right, so next up, you're gonna go ahead and wanna pick those horses' hooves out. So when you grab that hoof pick, think about your joints, especially your neck and your wrist. So you can just roll them out in between each one in each direction. So maybe you've done the left hoof first, right? And then as a reminder, get into that neck. Pairing that habit. So what are you thinking about hoof pick, Mari? I think of joints, so wrist and neck in between each pick. Awesome. All right, so we most often use the tack to be lifted up onto one side, typically. So we like to balance it off and not overuse one side. So we're gonna go ahead and do our squat raises to the left, up to the left-hand side to even out your muscles. And grab whatever tack you use to lift up overhead. It could be a saddle, it could be a pad. A lot harder with the saddle. That. <laughs> Good, and just nice and slow and controlled just to even it out. You can also do a couple on the other side if you feel like it. We just wanna even out each side. <laughs> All right, so when you first come to your horse, you wanna make sure that you're really conscious. So when you grab that curry comb, first item in the tack box, we want you to think breath. So you're really checking in with your horse and you're really checking in with how are you breathing? Can you even think about breathing deep into your belly and really being calm and present as you begin to interact <laughs> with your little equine buddy? Okay, so we hope this class reminded you how to take better advantage of this integral time with your horse to bond, to get a little connected, and to be in flow together from the moment you see each other. We want you to treat yourself with as much love as you do your equine friends. You have to groom your horse anyway, so might as well pair that with something you can do simultaneously and then take advantage of that time. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and share this video, show us the love, feel free to invent your own associations, and leave a comment with what you want to see more of from us below.